Hi, I'm Roland Leggett from Inside Australia. And in this session, I wanna to talk to you about Power BI or Power Business Intelligence. All organizations have large amount of data and that data has secrets. The thing is, do you know what questions to ask your data to expose those insights, those, those analytics to be able to make better informed decisions about your organization. So Power BI can be summed down to, to three words really, extract, transform and load, ETL. Extract data from a single or multiple data sources. They could be on the web, they could be in the cloud, they could be on premise. Transform them into a dashboard or a report that allows us to easily visualize these complex numbers instead of staring at a spreadsheet with a whole lot of numbers on a, a picture tells a thousand words so extract transform and then load that so etl last point is to load that data into a format that can be shared with the key decision makers in the organization so they've got real time analytics about what's happening in the business. Let's check out Power BI. So here I am in my Office 365 Power BI interface. And let's go through some of the components and see what Power BI consists of. So the main way is to display information once we've done the ETL or extract, transform and load is either in a report or a dashboard. We have a, a thing called the workspace, which is bringing together a whole bunch of data sets, uh, reports, dashboards, all of the components of Power BI. But from an end user perspective, we normally want to gen generate one of two things. We either want to generate a dashboard or, or a report. So a, a dashboard is designed for monitoring. It's a single pane of glass. They can uh, present data from multiple data sets. The downside is there's no interactive filtering tiles are automatically updated when the data is refreshed uh, tiles can show data in real time which is great um, and we can embed dashboards like in a single tile whereas a power bi report is designed for more interaction and exploring it could be multiple pages but it can only represent data from one data set uh, but it is good for interactive filtering and, and sorting of data. All right, it does require a manual refresh. So here I've got my mock uh, eight project team, which is in a workspace. I've got reports, uh, I've got uh, dashboards. And if I, I went down into my, my, my mock eight project team, we could say, right, what we'd like to do is get a report on the analytics so here we can quickly and easily get a report if i wanted to create a new report i click on the create tab and it says you know how, what would you like to do i'd say well uh, the data set and the heritage from from power bi really goes back to excel days you know and i mean in excel there were a whole bunch of power pivot power pro i mean if you click on the data tab within excel uh, and, and you select where to get data from there's so many places where we can uh, get this data from oracle databases azure different power platform online services other sources there's lots of information in your business we, we've got lots of data the thing is to know what questions to uh, to ask the data now you don't have to be a data analyst to get started with power bi uh, somebody would have published a data set here we can see i've got uh, sales operation uh, let's click on, on the sales data set and i can even auto generate a report so this is using some ai components to automatically generate a quick and easy Power BI report for me. My report is now ready. Do I want to view my report? And here we can go through and get a quick summary um, and, and drill down on, on different components, even go through and you know add additional 
data to our report. So here we've got our data table and we should be able to add in different components as we drill down here. And now we're able to see revenue by country. I'm in Australia, so how's Australia doing at the moment? And we can get a quick and easy view. It makes showing numbers or metrics or dashboards, KPI, sales, all of those things so much easier than looking at them in an, in an Excel spreadsheet, okay? But if we go through here, we can browse and we can go through and view our data hub. We can view metrics. Uh, there's a lot of different things we can do within Power BI. There's a great Power BI community online. And if you are responsible for generating any reports, have a look into the awesomeness that is Power BI. So Power BI has the ability to decrease that amount of time when you start to generate a report and the report actually gets read. Often, the report is out of date by the time people read it. Power BI allows us to have those real-time analytics in the cloud using that ETL, Extract, Transform and Load. Get into Power BI, it's the way of the future. We may not all be data scientists or data analysts, but we've all got reports that we need to generate and Power BI is going to make it a lot easier for us to do that.